Hello, I am Fawad and uh, uh, this was a paper which uh, I got to implement in MATLAB Automatic Detection of Brain Tumor Using K-Mean Clustering So um, what I did is that I started to implement through this uh, flowchart uh, There was a set of images I divided uh, that set of images into uh, train and test data. Uh, I used the training data to uh, train the original model and then calculated its accuracy by test data. So this was the paper. The first step was to uh, create an image histogram. So if you look into this uh, training uh, dot m file what i do is i read any each and every image and then i see if it is a grayscale image uh, if it is a color image i convert it into grayscale i resize the input image into 200 cross uh, 160 so that all the images may have equal size then after that i use an histogram normalization function as it was written over there that the third step should be histogram normalization so i have used the histogram normalization as a third stage if you look into this function you will see that uh, i uh, create a histogram in the first three line i normalized the histogram while the second three line there was a, a technique that was written over here that you have to create a probability each pixels and if uh, the pixel uh, normalized value is greater than 150 uh, if the pixel value is greater than uh, 150 then it should be stored over here in the beta variable so i created the beta variable according to that equation so this function gives us a normalized image and a beta value so the third step was to train the model by these beta values so third fourth this was the fifth step to train the model by the values of beta so uh, these line of code uh, create a training data the training data consists of the value of beta and its label if it is uh, uh, an image with uh, tumor in it so the label will be one if the image has no any tumor then its label will be zero so i created a training data within the training file so first what i will do is to execute this code properly i will uh, execute the training file training.m file so a training.m file create uh, a training data.mat uh, in the current folder then after that what i will do is i will run the test file and i execute the test file i select a picture and then after the picture selection it give me these eight pictures in these eight pictures you can see that the if I drag it, you will see the labels. This was the original image. This is the binary uh, image created after the binarization process. After the morphological operation, I got this image. After image enhancement, I got this image. After the came in clustering, there were three clusters, so I got, I got three images. The centroid value of the third cluster was larger, so it, this uh, image was selected for the enhancement and the final tumor location has been detected in this image if you look into the paper research paper you will see that uh, they have created the same set of images over here and in the sub image edge the tumor has, has been detected so this code work exactly as it has been uh, here in the implement uh, in the research paper that you have given to me so if i select uh, an image from the test data which has no any tumor in it then what it will give us 
it will give me this uh, type of output that uh, no any tumor has been found and the beta value is 23.9969 if you look into this you can see that no any tumor has been detected and the beta value is 3.0365 over here now uh, let me explain you the test.m file in the test.m file i uh, select an image from the directory and i stored it in the i am uh, variable i resize that i am variable to the same size which was in the training data and then i convert into gray scale values then after that i create the histogram normalization process uh, I show the histogram value and I after that there is a normalization process uh, like just like mentioned over here after that uh, I calculate uh, I display the normalized histogram and then after that uh, I get the value of beta and normalized uh, uh, signal that is J after this process um, I get the training data, I load the training data that it is uh, over here and after loading the training data I predict whether this beta belongs to the tumor data or it belongs to the normal MRI images. Uh, I check the value if uh, the tumor does exist over there then I uh, I am going to use some operation over there uh, and if the label is of zero it means that it does not contain the tumor so I display the image and I write that there is no any tumor and the beta value is this. If the tumor is found within an image then you can see that after the tumor has been detected within an image the, the next process is to uh, pre-process that image. So after the tumor has been detected, I use the pre-processing operation. Within the pre-processing function, you can see that uh, there are a few set of operation, morphological operation. And after the, the region growing, I get a binary image and it's uh, morphologically um, mask value. I multiply the, by, uh, the mask value with the original image and I get uh, and the skull portion is being excluded within the IM morph image. Then after that, there is a median filter applied over the image. This is the same. Uh, this is a sub segment of the pre-processing operation. After the image filtering, I uh, calculate the cluster clustering. The input image is the uh, the segmented image uh, from which the skulls has been removed. The input image is subjected to the k-mean clustering function which I have created that is over here. So the output is the segment and centroid. Then the maximum centroid uh, value is uh, identified that which cluster has a greater centroid value. On the basis of that uh, value, uh, we uh, come to know that which cluster contain the MRI tumor. Uh, so we enhance that portion of the image through morphological region opening operation and I, we get the final segmented image. Then after that we have displayed the original image, the binary image, the after morphological operation, after image enhancement and all these three clusters and the final detected tumor. So this was the whole code. If I test it again you will see that it work exactly as uh, it, was, uh, it has been mentioned in the paper. So you can see that in this uh, image the tumor portion has been identified and the tumor has been detected over here. You can see that all these labels have been assigned to this uh, process and this is the original image and after enhancement. There can be some a few error within the testing process because we are using just a single value of beta. I have selected an image with no tumor and it has told me that the tumor does not exist 
within this image. So thank you. I'm...